Hello everyone, I'm Ed, welcome to Tech Block. Today we are going to be trying to drill a hole in my desk. So I currently have the IKEA Linmon 2 meter desk that is in the black and brown color. A very nice desk and I'm going to be trying to drill a hole right down the center of my desk here for my keyboard wire to go through. And before that goes well, I'm also going to probably try to drill a hole for my mouse pad and mouse wire through here. So wish me luck. Hopefully I don't completely ruin my desk in the process of doing this as this is the first time I'm using a drill. I don't know if I have the right drill bit. I texted my friend on Snapchat just to make sure that this drill bit is okay to drill a hole through this desk. He said it's all good, but he did tell me to be careful with the actual drill itself. But before we actually start drilling, uh, we should probably remove my keyboard, my soundbar, my mouse and mouse mat from the desk, as well as putting some masking tape on where I'm going to be drilling to hopefully not ruin the entire desk. This is masking tape I bought from Poundland about a year ago, so hopefully it protects my desk and I don't ruin my entire desk else I'm going to have to buy a new desk and that will be very expensive as I don't own a car yet and I believe shipping anything from Ikea costs around £35, not including the actual product price and I think the tabletop is like £26 maybe or £30 on Ikea's website so it will probably be around £60 in total to buy a new tabletop which wouldn't be very nice so hopefully everything goes well. Right let's begin by removing the mouse pad and mouse from the desk. This is a very simple process. Ah. There we go, just take the mouse pad and mouse, move it onto my bed that's on the floor. And all of you do like to joke about that I do sleep on the floor because my bed broke a while ago. Right, so let's take the sound bar off the desk. I should probably actually check where I'm going to be drilling. So I think I'm going to have the keyboard roughly here. Let's grab the mouse pad again, just so I have a, a reference of whereabouts I need to be drilling for the keyboard hole. So it should look something like this, I think. Right, so I think I'm going to be drilling right about here. I do also have a second camera angle right there using my iPhone X to hopefully give you guys a better view of when I'm actually drilling the hole and stuff. And I suppose it might actually be quite funny if I do end up ruining my entire desk. But hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> See, I didn't do the best job in the world at drilling a hole in my desk. However, I don't think I ruined my desk in the process, which is very good. And everything seems to be okay so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up again and hopefully my keyboard will look wireless. Drilling the second hole for the mouse pad was much, much easier than drilling the enormous hole that I needed to drill for the keyboard wire to go through. So hiding the mouse pad wire was a much easier process. And here you can see me using some electrical tape that I bought from Amazon to pretty much cover up the poorly drilled hole for the mouse pad. I also did the same for my keyboard as well. I mean, electrical tape does a, a wonderful job at hiding your poorly drilled hole and it kind of blends in nicely with my black and brown um, the tabletop from Ikea 
So overall, it looks pretty good. I mean, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of my DIY job, I suppose. But it did work out very nicely. The mouse pad is all good. Everything works, which is fantastic. All right, so it's been a couple of days since I've recorded a video on the channel. Unfortunately, I've been quite sick lately, and that's why you haven't seen an upload from me for quite a while. However, I have been posting a few things on my Twitter and stuff to show you guys a few sneak peeks of what's coming up next. So this is the video that I'm currently recording, and I do want to finish it up as I did start a couple of days ago. So let's show you guys the end result of the drilling work that I did on my table. And I know it wasn't the best drilling that you've ever seen. It may have actually been the worst drilling that you've ever seen on YouTube. But the end result was pretty good. It probably it took me around 20 minutes to drill each hole in the desk. Uh, one for the keyboard and one for the mouse and mouse pad combo. So it did take quite a while to drill each of these holes. But that's probably because I was using the wrong drill bit and I was pretty much doing everything wrong. However, the good thing is I didn't ruin my desk in the process, which is always a nice thing as I'd hate to buy a new desk because shipping from Ikea costs so much as I'm sure most of you already know. But the end result was very nice. I ended up using electrical tape to pretty much hide my poorly drilled holes as I was not using any grommets or anything. I just drilled a hole and pretty much hoped for the best. However, it did turn out very nice. As you guys can probably see, the holes are hidden by electrical tape, which is quite funny. This whole entire thing is like super DIY. I used some awful drill bits. The drill that I used to actually drill these holes is like eight years old, and I'm pretty sure it hadn't been used for like seven years or something. So it's a miracle that it even worked, but the end result is very nice as you guys can probably see. Right, so before I finish up this video, I'd like to quickly mention that so many of you have been asking me to submit this setup to Tech Sources Setup or Show, and I think that the setup is finally ready to be submitted to setup wars. The entire setup is in a pretty good state at the moment. We've drilled holes for the table. We have our Amazon Echo spot. We have a sound bar. I think the setup is just about ready for setup wars. However, that does not mean the setup is by any means finished or I'm going to stop improving the setup. No, 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 no. This setup is always going to be a work in progress as there are always new products coming out that I can add to my setup. So by no means does this mean my setup is finished. I'll always be working on it. However, I will be submitting my entire setup to the setup or show as soon as I can. I'm I'm not too sure what the waiting list is on the show. Maybe I'll be on the show in a couple weeks. Maybe I'll be on the show in a couple months. But regardless of how long it's going to take me to get on the show, I think the setup is just about ready for submission. Also, a YouTuber called Random Frank P reached out to me on Twitter a couple days ago, asking me to come on the Room Tour Project show that he hosts on his channel, which is a pretty similar show to Setup Wars. So I came on the show. I'm featured in one of the episodes. I'll leave a link to his video in the description down below, so all of you can check it out. Make sure you show him loads of love in the comment section down below. So be sure to check out his video and hear his thoughts on my setup and stuff. But I think that's going to be about it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching it and I hope to see you guys in another video soon. Goodbye.